Question is from Nathaniel Watson. Thoughts on lifting heavy during a cutting phase? I love this. Mm -hmm. This this is actually, so if your goal is to maximize, get your strength as high as possible, probably not a good idea to do it while you're cutting. But if your goal is to preserve or build muscle while you're cutting, my favorite. It's my favorite method. And the reason why I like to do the heavy lifting when I'm cutting is because the longer rest periods, the lower rep ranges, they seem to lend themselves better to being in a well, calorie deficit. And theoretically, it just makes sense that you would want to, if your goal, you're in a cut phase, which means you're in a calorie deficit, you're catabolic, that if I want to preserve the most amount of muscle, I would want to send the loudest opposing signal. And what better way than doing that than lifting heavy weight? Like to me, that just makes the most sense if I'm trying to preserve a lot of muscle. Doing circuit-based type training in a cut like that to the average person might think like, oh, that makes the most sense because that's going to burn the most calories. But if you so who I'm who I'm talking to matters here. If I'm communicating to somebody who's dialed nutritionally. I love this. Like if if I can tell you, if you're a client of mine and you're following, like I can tell you your macros, your calories, I want you in this for the next two weeks. I know that's a deficit. I know you're going to be perfect. You're going to be dialed nutritionally. Then I love to do a, a heavy a heavy phase during that time. Now, if you're somebody who fucks up a lot, you're, you don't really track your nutrition, then using tools like HIT training and you know a, a more faster-paced workout is advantageous for the calorie burn. And so that makes sense for a cut phase. But personally, because I when I'm serious about cutting or doing some of this, I'm, I can dial my diet and I can be disciplined about it. I love to send a competing signal that tells my body to build muscle, knowing that I'm not feeding it enough and I'm probably not going to build a lot, but I'll probably preserve the most I could by sending that signal. Yeah, people are always asking, you you know, what? how should my diet be with the different phases of like MAPS anabolic, for example. MAPS anabolic is a really good classic uh, workout routine. It's, uh, it's kind of got the philosophy all wrapped into one. There's three different phases. And the first phase is the heavy lifting phase. So people are always like, okay, should I be in a calorie surplus here or in a deficit? What what should I do? And I say, okay, well, it, it kind of yeah. depends. If you're trying to maximize your strength, if you want to lift heavy because your goal is to hit new PRs, then you don't want to cut yeah, you when you're lifting heavy. You want to eat. Yeah. But if your goal is to keep muscle while you're dieting, heavy lifting during a cut is exceptional. I love it. It's more comfortable <laughs> for me too because – you know, I know HIT training burns a lot of calories. I know, you know, faster paced and supersets burns more calories. I get that. So I get how it makes sense. You're trying to burn as much body fat, burn more calories with your diet. But it sucks to do the fast paced workouts when your calories are low. It's really, really hard. Well, and the truth is, if you're doing a really good job of managing your calories, you're in enough of a deficit that you should be burning them. That, and that's why. I, that's where the deficit comes from. Right, diet. exactly. So that's who, who I'm talking to matters. If it's myself and my program, I love to do that. If it's a client who I know follows the nutrition guidelines to a T, brilliant way mm-hmm. to do it. Uh, if they're not, then I, I, ha- I see value in doing more circuit based. But. Uh, somebody who's who's doing it right, I think, or the best way, in my opinion, would be somebody who is yeah. managing nutritionally. And this is how I got ready for every show. It, and that's why people couldn't understand, uh, like my peers, how I was never ever on the cardio machine until like the last two or three weeks. Mm-hmm. It's because I'm going to I'm going to uh, manage my my fat loss through my programming and my nutrition. Like I'm going to create a deficit that nutritionally I'm going to be losing body fat week over week. And then as I got into those final weeks, that's when all of a sudden I would ramp up cardio. And what's great is it's novel. I haven't been doing it for Mm -hmm. eight weeks already like all of my peers were. So when I got on there and spent 45 minutes to an hour, my body dropped like a rock Mm -hmm. because it was was new. It was novel, a new stimulus. And so, and our body adapts to cardio really fast. So very similar mentality. And the reality is that you can lift heavy, you can lift light, you can do superset. You're, you're, it doesn't matter if you're in a cutting or a bulking phase of your diet. It just depends on your goal. I mean, you can lift heavy and be in a bulk. You could also do supersets and be in a bulk or do hit training and be in a bulk. If my goal is maximal stamina and endurance and athletic performance, right. hit training in a bulk is phenomenal. I actually used to do that yeah. quite yeah. a bit because, mm-hmm. you know, I was, my goal in the offseason was to gain. 
constantly gain, but like I had to maintain endurance and explosiveness and agility and all those things. So like I had to move and I had to move quick and, uh, and explosively. So, you know, yeah, it totally depends on your goal.